Sign your name, write your birth date, and circle where you'd like to go. We're getting a new look at the process. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says thousands of migrants go through before they're bussed from the Texas border all the way to New York or Washington, D.C. News 4 San Antonio's Jordan Elder tells us why advocates say the governor's actions aren't solving anything. We've obtained copies of the waiver Governor Abbott's office says migrants have to sign off on before they can board the buses. They're just a page long, your name, birth date, where you're traveling from, and then down at the bottom, two available destinations, the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., or New York City. Saying to individuals, sign these documents and we'll take you to another place doesn't really solve the problem and it doesn't really help any of our communities. Edna Yang with American Gateways, a human rights group in Texas, says it's inhumane and irresponsible. The first bus is full of migrants arriving in Washington, D.C. in mid-April. Just last week, the first bus arrived in New York City, sparking a social media firestorm. New York City Mayor Eric Adams tweeted that Governor Abbott, quote, used innocent people as political pawns to manufacture a crisis. New Yorkers are stepping up to fix it. Children amongst them, there are families. They need to be treated humanely. That's all we're asking for. Don't treat them as political pawns. He also claimed some of the migrants were forced onto the buses, and some told they'd be taken to their desired destinations and then instead taken to New York. Abbott fired back, tweeting that the bus loads won't end anytime soon and that this is only a fraction of what Texas is going through. Border Patrol officials are reporting thousands of crossings every day. But what happens after the buses are loaded? The governor's office has said that people are given food, they're given medical care, but those aren't the reports that we're seeing at the arrival sites. It's really um, inhumane. Volunteers are now working to find food and shelter for the migrants, but leaders in New York and Washington, D.C. say resources are already stretched thin. We need comprehensive immigration reform that really addresses the realities of migration and immigration today. Um, we haven't had those changes in decades, and this is the result. Reporting in San Antonio, I'm Jordan Elder. Governor Abbott's office did not tell us how many of these forms have been collected, but they do report more than 6,500 migrants have been bused to Washington, D.C. About 170 have reportedly arrived in New York City. Americans are divided over immigration policy. According to a new Gallup poll, 27% of Americans say immigration should be increased. 31% believe it should be kept at the current level and 38% want fewer immigrants entering the country. Gallup notes the poll does not specify whether it refers to legal or illegal immigration. Here at News 4, we of course will continue to follow the latest at the border for you and you can follow along with us by checking out our new podcast, Immigration Crisis, The Fight for the Southern Border. It's hosted by our own Yami Virgin and the Spanish version of the podcast is also available. You can listen to it right now on our website, Apple and Spotify.